With so much in the media about the impact of climate change over the past year, such as high temperatures, floods, droughts, storms and wildfires, what can we do to help to adapt to these new climate change conditions for our businesses? ISO 14090-2019 on Adaptation to Climate Change which contains principles, requirements and guidelines, could be the international standard to help you adapt to this new climate emergency. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at ISO 14090-2019 on adaptation to climate change, which contains principles, requirements and guidelines to help support your adaptation to climate change. In November 2016, the Paris Agreement came into force to limit global temperature rise. And it established a global adaptation goal of enhancing adaptive capacity, strengthening resilience and reducing vulnerability to climate change, with a view to establishing sustainable development and ensuring an adequate adaptation response in the context of the temperature goal. To fully implement the Paris Agreement, we will need to take strong action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to meet the Paris Agreement goals of holding global warming this century to well below 2 degrees Celsius and pursuing 1.5 Celsius. This would limit the impacts of climate change on vulnerable communities and ecosystems. ISO 14090 focuses on the climate change adaptation process, which is a process of adjustment to actual or expected climate and its effects by building climate resilience into the fundamentals of business practice. An example of an adaptation would be the building of flood defence to protect new domestic housing so that they are significantly above the current flood levels to allow for housing resilience to the increased climate change affecting rainfall and high flood events. These adaptation changes are more likely to be successful in the short to medium term but may have additional long-term benefits. Government and businesses will need to take a long-term view for planning to incorporate climate change into their strategic thinking. The approach in ISO 14090 is relevant to all sizes and types of organisations where their activities, products and services might be threatened by, or in some cases, able to take advantage of climate change. ISO 14090 has been purposefully structured as a non-linear approach to allow organisations to adopt its structure no matter what stage they are in their climate change adaptation journey. From those just starting out, to those who are engaged in adaptation, and to those choosing to lead the way. My perspective is to view this approach as a circular process, much like the plan, do, check, act process in ISO 14001. The approach comprises stages for pre-planning, assessing impacts, including opportunities, adaptation planning, implementation, monitoring and evaluation, and reporting and communication. The approach is iterative to support continual learning and improvement processes to allow organisations to dive into the approach at the relevant stage to their needs, move back and forward between multiple elements, 
depending on the challenges that they may face and the lessons that they might learn from their delivery experience. To further support your climate change adaptation projects, there are other international standards in the ISO 14090 series. ISO 14091 2021 is for adaptation to climate change, guidelines on vulnerability, impacts and risk assessment, and ISO technical specification 14092 2020 adaptation to climate change, requirements and guidance on adaptation planning for local governments and communities. So, to summarise, ISO 14090-2019 can provide a methodology to assist in your adaptation to climate change. It contains principles, requirements and guidelines that can help you to adapt to this new climate emergency. If you want to go deeper into climate change adaptation, there is an ISO white paper, How to Use ISO 14090 to support ISO 14001 and adaptation to climate change. This white paper gives you a clear roadmap on how to use ISO 14090 to support your climate change adaptation journey and the opportunity to drive this adaptation using your existing environmental management system based on ISO 14,015. You can find more information on this in our episode by clicking here. Further information on ISO 14,090, its white paper and other resources are given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. If this episode has helped to advance your understanding of climate change adaptation and the use of ISO 14090, please leave a comment in the box below if this episode has helped you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.